Hi, dear friends and cultural creatives, Bruce here, and I have a wonderful presentation to offer you today. And this is a presentation on the new book called The Honeymoon Effect, The Science of Creating Heaven on Earth. For me, totally exciting topic to talk about, especially because I am the last guy that you would ever imagine to have written a book about relationships. I got married very, very young in my uh, 21st year. And after 10 years of marriage, uh, in my immaturity and understanding the nature of relationships, uh, I ended up uh, getting divorced. And uh, this divorce was not an easy thing to do, as most people know, especially because I had two young children. And there was so much emotional trauma around that divorce situation that I actually made a commitment to myself for every day for 17 years, when I would shave every morning, I had my own little mantra. It would go something like this. I'll never get married again. I'll never get married again. So for 17 years, I was clearly not marriageable material or even interested in the concept. And yet, through the understanding offered by the biology, the lessons I learned from the cells, the information from the biology of belief, and the understanding from spontaneous evolution, all the work derived from this cellular research, I learned a new understanding about life. One so profound that it led me into a relationship and my experience of feeling and living heaven on earth. And I understand now the process for how we create these loving relationships and also the problems that inevitably cause these relationships to fall apart. So basically, the honeymoon effect is a story about the biology and the psychology of creating relationships. People talk about mind-body interactions and mind-controlling life. And well, a lot of people say, my mind wouldn't have created this life. You can go back to a point where you fell in love and recognize a very simple truth. What you created was not an accident. It was an activation of your conscious wishes, desires, and aspirations. You already did create heaven on earth. The issue is what happened to it? And I said, ah, the interference from the subconscious mind. If you understand the programming and how that programming is the default behavior, and you understand how you can rewrite that programming, then you're given an opportunity to eliminate the negative um, programs in your subconscious that have been sabotaging you, and instead replace them with behaviors that correspond with your wishes and desires. And when you do that, the, so that your conscious mind and your subconscious mind have the same program, then guess what? At that moment, whether you're paying attention or whether you're not paying attention, you'll be engaged in the honeymoon experience. It never has to go away. The honeymoon is an experience that you could have your whole life. This is why we were here. We were here to create heaven on earth. The one time you did it is when you fell in love. It could have stayed that way if you understood the mechanisms we have described here. But when you do understand the mechanisms, it says you can go back and recreate that and make it a permanent way of life. You were born into heaven. You've experienced it once or more, and you can do it again and again and again, because that's how powerful you are. You are a creator, and you are in heaven. When you use your creation, you will manifest heaven every day in your life and enjoy the beauty of a living experience on this wonderful planet, the honeymoon effect the science of creating heaven on earth.